virtual reality can change the way you shop, wait for it, for a home, shopping for a real estate with those goggle things, you know, virtual reality. <laughs> Sam DiBianchi has left her paradise in Miami, and she's with me in New York right now. Okay, let me get this right. I strap on the goggles. You do. Okay, mm -hmm. And I can take a virtual tour of any home in America if they're hooked up to the system? As long as they're connected, you can look at finishes. You can get a real perspective of height. There's so much that you can do with VR. I think the negative, though, and it's great for international buyers, especially sure. you know, if you're not here and you can get right. the sale done. However, there is a negative, and there's a lot of people that are getting into real estate development, and they have a lot of money to spend on marketing and PR and advertising, and what they'll do is they'll spend tons of money on VR and technology, but then what happens is the product that they build is not exactly uh, that. Uh, yes, and I then see. come the lawsuits. Yes. So you have to make sure that don't just rely on the technology. Make sure that you also Look at who is building that, who is developing that. Do they have experience? What else have they built? And sure. look at the quality, that it's but so important. Do, do, you, do you think that, I mean, if you're a foreign buyer, you're living in, I don't know, you're living in London or something, mm -hmm. you want to buy in Miami, would somebody actually buy purely on the strength of a virtual reality tour? Would they? 100%. They would? 100%. Well, these Brits will buy anything. I can't. I mean, that's extraordinary. <laughs> well, look at, like, the related group. You know that? that type of quality when they're developing something, you know what you're going to get. Now, if it's just a fly-by-night developer, that could be a little bit different. But again, rely on what you're seeing and then make sure what you see is sure. actually what you get. Sure, no, that's, uh, that's understandable. But it's a very new tool, a very interesting tool. Sure. Okay. Now, I expect a huge influx of New Yorkers who are going to be paying heavy-duty taxes under this new bill. I expect a huge exodus to come down to Miami and other parts of Florida. Is that happening? I would hope that you're right. No, wait a minute. <laughs> you're in the real estate business. Is that true? Is that happening? Um, you know, it's always been happening. You, you have a lot of New Yorkers. And yeah, New look, I'm come on, come on, yes, come on. Yes, I'm yes. expecting I a mean, wave. I, I don't expect a huge wave. I expect people who were on the fence before thinking maybe I should buy there saying, hell yeah, let's go buy in Miami 100%. It has not, it's not just taxes, but, I mean, you're snowing left and right. We've got sand and sunny beaches. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, what would you prefer? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Are you going to be one of them, I hope? Because every time I'm on here, you keep saying I'm going to be buying, and then it's either you're uh, not using me or you're not buying, so... If I could do this show, a live three-hour show from <laughs> Miami, I probably would, but I can't. So you heard I'm it here doing. first, then. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I, now, one last one. Um, upper income, upper high-end housing in Miami. Is it holding its prices? Because I know for a fact that in Greenwich, Connecticut, prices are down amongst right. the, 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 the rich. How about Miami? We have seen a little bit of a drop, especially in the condo market. But again, we still are the best deal in town. I mean, you can get a penthouse for a million dollars. Oh, by getting a penthouse oh, here. Just... I mean, just a million dollars. But when yeah. you, you know, you look at penthouses here. What's or your commission on a million dollar condo? Six thousand? Sixty thousand? I mean, that's a bit six percent. Sixty thousand? For fifty thousand. <laughs> You've asked me this before, well, how much do you I again. make? And my response still is, I make enough to constantly keep a smile on my face. Uh, <laughs> you're done. If you won't tell me the truth, you won't give me an answer, you're done. Give me an answer. There's no set number, but technically it's 6%. Thank you very much indeed. $60,000 on a bit. Thank you very much indeed.